Hi, everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. Hi, Miss B. Welcome back for another week. <laughs> Are you sure? Because there was a countdown, and then that 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 ominous stare of like, why are why are you counting? Oh, I put my hand over my mouth because I thought I was gonna burp. <laughs> why do you wait until I go three two? Uh, why, why is that the thing with you or the glass? It's like glass on the counter, three two glass in the mouth. Oh wait wait wait, really? Oh, I didn't do my timer. <laughs> oh, my word. Anyways, welcome to another week of A Quickie with Ms. B. <laughs> Today is Monday. Obviously, all day and half the night. <laughs> Still can't figure out what happens on the other half of the night. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> so, all this week, we want to talk about those captivating critters. <laughs> This is going to prove to be weird, weird, weird. Today, we're going to talk about dogs. Gone to the dogs. Yes, gone to the dogs. So I'm going to tell you my story. It's kind of funny. So this was many years back. Uh, I used to work in a vet clinic. I was the technician assistant, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and we used to see a lot of dogs and cats because that's mainly what our vet specialized in. And this one day, this uh, guy came in and he brought in his dog. Now, when they come in, you got to check them in, ask what the dog's name is, what's the reason that they're here for, you know, get all the you know, information before you go putting them in the room for the vet to, to see their, uh, their dog or cat. So <laughs> I'm standing there and I'm putting in the information. I'm asking for his name and stuff. And then I said, what's your dog's name? <laughs> and he goes, Mikey. <laughs> Mikey. Mikey. Mikey, the pug. <laughs> the dog was a pug. And I'm trying really hard not to laugh. And I'm trying to finish <laughs> entering this into the computer. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have a brother and I, <laughs> I call him Mikey. <laughs> So to see this dog come in with this name was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> now, what do you think? Well, I'm curious. What do you think a good pug name would be? Snot? <laughs> Bozer. <laughs> so all pugs are named Bowser. <laughs> I don't know. I just find it absolutely hilarious that people pick actual people names <laughs> but now then you have people like me who like to mess with people i went to the vet and he was like is this your dog i was like it's my sister's dog he's like okay what's the dog's name czar ivan leopold <laughs> he's like you just call him czar for short nope I call him czar ivan leopold He's like, do you mind if I call him Czar for short? Won't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and he's just looking at me going, what the hell's wrong with this guy? You're mean. <laughs> so I, I just, I, the names that people pick for dogs. Okay, so then I get this dog taken care of and I put him through and Mikey whatnot. The Mikey the pug. Mikey the pug. <laughs> Mikey the pug went and saw the vet. Then the next dog that comes in, <laughs> this guy's got an English bulldog. <laughs> it's a female dog. Asking for all the information. You know what the name of that dog was? Mikey. Maxine. <laughs> Which happened to be my stepmother's name. <laughs> it's a family affair. <laughs> it's a family reunion today. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, I got to admit, that's getting a little weird. Wait, where are the chances of that happening? If the, next should... dog, if the next dog comes in named Chris, then yes, it's over. I should have went and played the lottery that day. I might have yeah. won. <laughs> so after I get done with my shift, I, I go home and I call my dad. And I said, you're not going to believe you know, what these dogs' names were that came in today. <laughs> of course, I start telling them and... He's just laughing. 
My brother and my mother. <laughs> That's a trip. It was just hilarious. I don't know why they put people's names to, I mean, what? And Ma come on, Maxine is not a super common name. <laughs> Mikey, yeah. I will give you, but Maxine. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> It's not something you hear every single day. <laughs> I will give you that 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just too... <laughs> it is. It's too hilarious. <laughs> Coincidental. <laughs> Very just much saying. so. Anyways, uh, I need to go take a break and... <laughs> Call my family. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> How do you do that? Every time I count down, you're like, I'm waiting to go totally insane. Hold on. Three, two, insanity. Okay. Okay. So, listen, I got to tell you something. <laughs> Oh my I'm we're, we're talking about the critters this week, the captivating yeah. critters. Yeah. So let me just tell you quickly. On Facebook, <laughs> it says, a pig ate fermented corn that was to be used in making moonshine. The pig got drunk, <laughs> passed out, and was snoring. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little pot belly pig. So the guy goes over there with you know, camera in hand and is checking him out and kind of gives him a push to try to get him to, because she's on her belly or her yeah. backside to get her back on her belly. Well, the pig went to stop rolling down the hill. Oh my. <laughs> Can you imagine this little pot belly pig that's drunk? <laughs> Rolling down a hill. <laughs> oh my! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's crazy. Yeah, note to self: if you're going to do moonshine, which I don't suggest that you do, but if you are, <laughs> make sure your pig's not around. <laughs> yeah, don't let the pig get in. Well, I mean, how tall is a is a pot bellied pig? Like six inches tall? I mean, <laughs> how did it get into a barrel full of wort? That doesn't make sense. How did it get I into the? Wait, wait, wait! It just fall in and drink its way out, or I mean, how did it get into a vat of? It's called wort. When they when they take and they ferment. What the is it? Ferment the corn? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that that's wart. what it was called. Oh, yeah, okay. So you got you got the wort. Then they'll take the wort, all right, and they heat it up, and then the uh -huh. alcohol rises and comes off as a steam, and they put uh -huh. that through a condenser, all right, uh -huh. and that goes back through cool water, which makes it condense back to liquid, and that liquid, liquid. is now alcohol. That's called okay. uh, dis distillation. It's, that's uh -huh. dis that's how you distill something. But anyway, yeah, a little lesson awesome for everybody there. Yeah, Moonshine 101. I have no idea how it's made. Yeah, I don't know and little, oh, that little piggy, he was snoring. But how did he get into it? I don't understand. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, piggies, I mean, if they're hungry, they're usually pretty motivated to do just about whatever they need to do to get <laughs> the food. I don't think I they have to think. be hungry. I think they just have to smell it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're on their merry so, uh So my dog story is going to be yes. about the psychotic dog behind me right over here. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the one who is now laid out on a couch snoring. <laughs> she looks very comfortable, by the way. Oh, yeah. She's... she's She's in the studio and she's just, you know, she follows me around. She needs to have somewhere to go be. So she's, she's back there. But her thing is now, she wants, when she goes outside, say I'm working, like I'm building a room right now. I don't have time to go outside and just sit outside for hours on end. Uh -huh. right? So she wants to go out. It's like, okay, let her out. She's on a leash. She's got a long leash. So it's like. Uh -huh. 30 feet but it goes all the way across the yard so she's got 30 feet across the whole backyard she's got all of it all 
right? She can mm. run. She's got grass. She can tear around. She has her own Frisbee and her toys out there. She can have a blast, okay? Mm -hmm. But she'll be like, come outside with me. You know, and you're like, <laughs> and she'll just stare at you. And you're like, I, 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 I can't go out right now. I got work to do. You go play. So now she's out there. So, of course, like this dog gets caught on everything. Mm -hmm. She can go down the staircase and all of a sudden, oh, I can't move. And she starts okay. dancing. I can't move. You go outside. She's caught on a blade of grass. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've seen her get caught like a little clump of grass in the yard. Is it? Like the lawn is starting, to grow. It's starting mm -hmm. to grow right now. I live in Maine, so you get the clump of the grass coming uh -huh. up. So there might be a clump, and her leash goes by the clump and then stops because the clump just stopped it. <laughs> That's it. She's done. I can't move. I'm immobile. And she'll so start screaming. You go out there, and you're like, are you kidding me? With this nonsense. So she likes to get herself in situations where she'll, she'll go to the lawnmower and walk around it in a circle. If, 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 if the leash gets caught, she screams. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You'll see her so lay down. <laughs> ah, ah. Well, one time I have a uh, private entrance to my wood shop below the deck. It's got a big door and all that. You can go in. Well, she's standing there and apparently she thought, hey, you know, it'd be funny. I'll go over <laughs> there. Of course, dog's not paying attention. There's a drop off. There's a drop off. Right there. <laughs> this drop off is like three feet. Now, Dottie is a pug, is a puggle. She's a mix between a pug and a beagle. A <laughs> Looks more like a pug though. But so she decides, well, brilliant idea. I'll just go over there, and that way I'm sure I'll be caught, so I can scream. Well. As she went over there and came off the three-foot drop, she was not able to bark anymore. <laughs> she was hanging herself? She hung herself. <laughs> so now I hear this, like, this horrific scratching. And, ah, 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 ah. So I go out the door. I'm looking. I can't find her. I go down the stairs. I'm looking. There she is hanging. And she's like... She's like, oh, God, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. She's like, she's scratching everything. She can get. She's hanging. Her feet are two feet from the ground. And she's just swinging now. Because what she did was she wrapped herself around the staircase pole. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. So then she <laughs> went off the end. It's like... Are you freaking kidding me? So I grab her, I lift her up, and she's like, look, this. she sits down. She Right away, she sits like, I'm in trouble, aren't I? Why? And I, I, I literally am having a conversation with this Dinkledorf. I'm like, why would you hang yourself to get attention? Who does that? Your dog was that depressed and just <laughs> starved she, for attention. Yeah, she, she's like, you know what? If you're not gonna throw the frisbee, I'll just end it all now. And she's like, what the hell's wrong with you? Look, she's here to talk about. Go on, go on, go on your pit, your head. Go on, lay down. Oh my gosh, she's, she's trying to commit suicide. Yeah, it's like dogicide. You know, it's like what in the world is wrong with you? Yeah, she's just like literally. She's like, uh, if you're not coming out to play. I'll end it all now. <laughs> so she hangs herself. <laughs> and I mean, I, I, I mean, it's a good thing I was, I, I could hear. Because I'm telling you, I'd have been going, come on, what the heck? Get, hurry up, get over here. She'd just been swinging there cold. <laughs> I'd have been running out trying, where'd that dog get off to? Where'd... I mean, oh my heavens. So I had to block it off now. I was just like, what if she tries it again? <laughs> it's like, oh my word. <laughs> I mean, if there's a stick, uh, not, no joke, if there's a stick that falls off a tree, the per <laughs> Christine, you can stand there and watch her when you put her out. She'll find the stick, she runs up to it, and she runs around the stick in a circle. Once, once she gets herself caught up on the friggin' stick, she pretends like she can't move. You go out there. 
<laughs> you go, come here. She'll drag the stick right to you. you. Go. So you're caught on the stick that you just brought here, right? Okay, it's a twig. <laughs> She's this dog is so dramatic. <laughs> Everything. First thing she does, as soon as she's outside, I'm caught. I'm caught. It's over. It's over. <laughs> you can't move. I'm caught. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You freak. I'm not, I'm not, not you better go check her. Look at that. She's like, you talking about me? Yes, I am talking yes. about you. She's got this look on her face like you dirty so and so. She's not putting that online. Yes, I am. <laughs> on that note, we better be done before we give her a complex. 